This presentation is designed specifically for my microeconomics students to help them correctly determine the tax paid by someone in a tax bracket style income tax such as the one we have in the United States. Most students get this question wrong even after they've been warned about it in advance and most people get this wrong. They know what tax brackets are, they know what tax bracket they're in, but they're not really sure how it works. So this is an example of a tax bracket table. It's not the one for use in the United States, but it has some nice round numbers, so we'll use it. The trick to calculating is to realize that not all dollars are equal and the government taxes different dollars of income at different rates. That sounds totally ridiculous because the income that you earn in January gets the same amount taken out of it as the income you earn in December. But that's only because you and your employer get together and try to figure out how much tax you'll have to pay and then they average that amount over all of your pay periods. But really, which dollar you make determines how much tax is paid on it. All of us pay nothing on the first dollar earned. In this table, everybody pays nothing on the first 5,000. You, me, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, zero. To imagine that. Suppose you receive all of your income in cash dollars and you bind them up into bunches of $1,000. Then you stack these bunches one on top of the other. On top of each one, you mark the bracket they fall into. The table on the bottom is going to be our stack of bills. 10 stacks, each $10,000 high for a total of $100,000. That'll take us through all the brackets. In order to visualize the brackets better, we're going to use colors to show the different brackets. And then what we're going to do is we're going to color our stacks of money to match. So here we go. The first $5,000 you earn is down here. That's your first five stacks. And that's taxed at zero. Your next five, from your five thousand and first dollar to your ten thousandth dollar, that's taxed at five percent. If five thousand were all you earned, you'd be at the top of the zero percent bracket and you'd pay nothing. And then if you got a raise, an itty bitty little raise, and got to five thousand and two dollars, you'd be in the five percent bracket. And there are people who, when this happens to them, panic and think, oh, now I have to pay 5% of my income and I didn't used to have to pay any. And people have actually refused raises based on this. But this 0%, that's forever. Those $2 that are in the next bracket, they'll be taxed. A nickel will be taken out of your 5,000 and first dollar. A nickel will be taken out of your 5,000 and second dollar. And you'll pay a dime on your 5,000 and two dollars worth of income. If you're lucky enough to be over here and earning $70,000, your 70,000 and first dollar, should you get one, will be taxed at 50%. But they won't all be. And that is a very popular misconception. All of your dollars are kind of labeled with how they'll be taxed. Going to do some examples. Woody earns $13,000, Levy earns $39,000, and Maynard earns $78,000. We won't look at this one down here because that's a typo. If you ask people how much these people have to pay, the majority of people will answer that since Woody's in the 10% bracket, he pays 10% of his income. Since Levy's in the 25% bracket, he pays a quarter of his income. 
And poor Maynard, who's in the 50% bracket, pays half of his income. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. And while poor Maynard does pay some high taxes, he's not that badly off. So we're going to see what's happening to Woody here. He makes only $13,000. 5,000 are taxed at nothing. 5,000 are taxed at 5%. And the top 3,000, they're each taxed at 10%. Here's what the table looks like for him. He gets the first five free. The next five, he pays 5% on. And you can see this little itty bitty black hatched area. That's the nickel the government takes. A nickel on those $5,000 amounts to $250. And then in the 10% bracket, those dollars the government takes a bigger bite out of. And you can see that that black hatched area is a little bit bigger. It takes 10% of that $3,000. So what Woody pays is nothing on that, 250 on that, 300 on that, 550 total, not 1,300. Levy. Levy's got $39,000 worth of income, and that puts him in the 25% bracket. But that doesn't mean all your income is taxed at 25%. It means your next dollar will be taxed at 25%. Your last dollar was taxed at 25%. But still, you get some for free, some at 5, some at 10. And this table, again, shows it. That brown amount that's untaxed is still there. He goes through and pays a nickel on each of these dollars. His income's high enough that he passes right through the 10% bracket Woody's in. He pays 10% of that area. He pays 10 cents on each of those dollars. The bite gets bigger and bigger, you'll notice. In this area, he pays 15%. And finally, this is even a bigger bite. He loses a quarter out of each of those dollars. It's depressing to lose a quarter out of a dollar, but it's not a quarter out of all of the dollars. It's just a quarter out of the ones in that bracket. All told, he pays 1,000 plus 1,500 plus 1,500 plus 250. He pays $4,250 not nearly 10,000. And Maynard. Maynard's way over here. He's way in the last tax bracket. But he still gets the advantage of that first 5,000 free, the next 5,000 nearly free, as the brackets go on, a bigger and bigger chunk is taken. In this $20,000, in that area, he pays 35 cents on the dollar. Notice nothing ever happens to what went before. And in that last area, rather painfully, he loses 50%. <clears throat> he pays 50% in that bracket. He pays 4,000 out of the 8,000. So let's review. Woody, $550 in taxes, not 1300 He pays 4.23%, not 10 Levy pays about 11%, not 35 And Maynard? pays $18,000, a substantial amount, but still only 23% of his income. Thanks for listening.